today is just two words. Jo, ja. Have fun. Yep. Today it's Georgia. And we start straight away. My ambition with you is, of uh, course, it's a bit more complicated than a regular blues, is to get the best sound out of the uh, fewest possible notes so that it stays uh, simple. But it still has some juice and that's where many books or maybe uh, also tutorials fail. Less notes and then it's just boring. Um, but since you know a little bit about sliding and playing blues, we can make it probably sound nice with uh, not too much fuss. Clearly that's the first two words. It's one word, Georgia. Okay, first two syllables. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and second turn around okay That's the A part. Now let's have a, a slow look at this. Um, I'm sure we'll make a score from this because um, it's a popular piece. Uh, so you might, uh, you will be able also to um, get this tutorial, this version, as a written score that you can order uh, from me. So. Um, uh, we go from the beginning again, the first harmony is F major and we have all important stuff here, the basic the, uh, root, major 7 and the major 3rd and then we have the F major chord complete. We have the 3rd and the 5 and okay, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and Three. This is A7, A4, and yes, it's A7. If you want to play it really juicy, you can play one and two and three and four and arpeggiated two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. So let's have a look at this again. We were uh, da dum da dum. Now we are in D minor. So one. It's clear D minor chord. One. One and two and three. So you, the trick is here with the D minor chord. One da da da. Da, da. It just goes the bass goes down. All these two stay the same. But, um, ba, da, ba, uh. See? It just does this. Oh, it's this even. Uh, so, uh, mm, mm. And this is because you are, by now, you're a real blues piano player. If you have uh, watched more than let's say 150 videos from me, you're officially a blues piano player and can do this. Uh, one and two and three and next slide. Three and four and, and this is really quite nice. And this is not in the box. One and two and three and four. You fall into the G. This is half diminished, 
B natural, half diminished. And now comes something that turns you on, I know that. This actually is the, we take it here, is the E flat 7. Actually, it's not much to do for you, and you get a great sound from it. Uh, and when I, when you manage, it sounds great also. Mm. A little trick, just sliding. And then. This is C with a 7, with a 9, and with a sus4. So, and then. Can you see? We come from. Um, If you do have this, look at it. It's A minor. And now comes something really nice. Whoa. Oh, damn, this is nice. I won't even tell you what it is because then you're stealing my secret. So it's, um, it's D7 with the sharp nine here. That making this the sound. Um, Seven major third seven and nine and and then we are on the dominant and then we have this uh, and I'll show you this so we're coming on uh, the, the last bit together four and one and two and three and four and uh, one. Two and three and four and one and two and three. And three. you these things. Mm. That's A and C, B flat and D, and then you just have to fiddle your way around with the fingering. There's no prescribed method. Then you do is chromatically, um, chromatically from there on. Always half steps. 